me preface this message by saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking breaks. First thing that you're going to want to uh, be mindful of is doing something that you love. Doing something that you love is very important because you're gonna take care of what you love at your own will as opposed to trying to please someone else or trying to garner a crowd of people that you know you have no interest in. Don't invest in anything that you don't love doing. Second thing that is extremely important in staying inspired to create or do anything valuable to you is studying the game. Studying the game is I feel exactly where I separate myself from a lot of other creators. The people that are ahead of me right now, the people that in the positions that I'd like to be, I see, ex I study exactly what they do, the steps that they take. You know, when I watch their videos, I'm not watching their videos just to be entertained. I'm watching their videos and taking notes. And I'm watching how they engage with their audience. You know, just taking notes and then going back into the mirror and reflecting on the type of person I am and how I want to address my audience and how I want to uh, build my brand as a creator. Have at least five people that might have one or two people that are on your level and then three or four people that are absolutely ahead of you and is exactly where you want to be. Third thing is don't be afraid to remix. A lot of my best content has come from remixes. Content that I've seen other people already create but I remake it in my own perspective. I remake it uh, with my personal twist on it. I do this a lot with a photography that I do. I might be inspired by another photographer and I take that with a different model in a different area and it's a completely different style of photo because now that version is how I created it. You can't be afraid to remix other work. Remixing other work will always keep you inspired just because it's work that hasn't been seen by your audience yet. Providing that for your audience in a new, more fresh and valuable way is could really put you on top. There's a lot of pages on Instagram, on social media, Facebook, that all they do, all they do is repost work, inspiring their audience and inspiring themselves to continue to create uh, in the, the most efficient way possible. Looking outside of your genre is so important for creating content because although I'm a visual artist, I'm heavily inspired by music. I'm very inspired by YouTube channels. When I bring their style back to my audience, this new style of thing that you brought to us, the inspiration cannot always come from your mind. A lot of times inspiration is coming from different pieces of places. And it's, um, if you always try to force creativity out of yourself, you're not gonna end up loving it in the long run. And then a couple places where I get my inspiration, I get my inspiration from YouTube videos, like I said. I spend a lot of time on YouTube just because I see a lot of YouTubers as my peers. Um, I create YouTube content, they create YouTube content, they create Instagram, Facebook, Twitter content, and I do the exact same thing. So I'm looking at these people and I'm studying the game, you know what I'm saying? Like they say certain things in their videos, they edit their videos a certain type of way, and all I do is take that, adopt my own style, and present it to my audience in the cleanest package possible. That's how I stay inspired. Um, you know, I've, I've created a look. It, my look that I've created didn't come overnight. It's definitely something that I've curated over a certain amount of time. And I think that it's still very much still developing. You know, the things that I've been through, the things that I've developed as a person has come from a mashup of thousands of people that I've met throughout my life. So the people around you, um, I hope I helped you. And I love you guys for tuning in. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one.